Another one of those funky, funny, more money shows. A cast for laughs, for talent, to pros and sisters. With twisters for you, the looking listener. It seems you don't believe, so you believe, but I can fit you. So put it to your short and thought, we'll make it snappy. With jokes and folks and folks to keep you happy. No need to hold your remote control. Chill. This show got soul. All aboard, all aboard. The train up a trouble. You better snuggle up, couple up, or the double up, double, yeah. It's hard to believe, but some of the best things in life are free. So fellas, grab your girl. Tell her that you love her, cause that's the way you're living when you're living in living color. just charming, isn't it? Here's my business card. Please feel free to call me if you have any questions at all. Bye-bye now. Hello there, I'm Sheila Pease. Hi. Hey, this place isn't that bad. Have you rented it yet? Why, no, we haven't. Please feel free to take a look around. Of course, I will mention that there's an application and you'll be required to list your employer. <laughs> That's no problem. I have a job. Well, of course you do. Now, what team do you play for? I'm a doctor. You're not Dr. J, are you? I've heard you're quite talented. Lady, I'm a medical doctor. Well, good for you. Now, you must have studied very hard. Let me tell you a little bit about the apartment, shall I? Firstly, this locale is ideal for you. There is a golden bird fried chicken right down on the corner. And you know something? There is a crack house over on 7th. I tell you, people are getting beat up and shot there all the time. And what with you being a doctor and all, your business could be booming. Of course, I can't guarantee that the corner store would carry that Afro Sheen activist stuff. They're Mexican, you know. They have plenty of those tortillas, and the rest of us just have to make do. Lady, I'm going to have a look around by myself. Oh, please do. You know, there is plenty you can do with this space. You can put your big stereo there in the corner and play that rap music just as loud as you like. Listen to me. You go ahead and look all you want. Are you still showing the apartment? We certainly are. Hello, how are you? I'm Sheila Peace. I must say you speak English very well. Please feel free to have a look around. Hey, this isn't bad, honey. Yeah, but I'm not sure I like the neighborhood. Well, let me just say this about that. This neighborhood is conveniently close to everything you need. Why, Chinatown is just ten blocks away. That was a good movie, wasn't it? Chinatown? Of course, there weren't a lot of Chinese people in it. That must have chapped your high. Of course, now you people are buying up Hollywood. You'll show them, huh? Hey, we're Korean. Oh, well, then this apartment is just perfect for you. Here you are on the first floor. You won't disturb anyone down below with that karate stuff. And there's a photo mat right across the street. You know, we are one of the few buildings in the area that features speed bumps in the parking garage. Can I get you an application? Oh, no, I think we're looking for something a little bigger. Oh, well, of course you are. What with that whole boat people situation? <laughs> well, the thought of that brings tears to my eyes. I'm sure you guys have relatives coming in all the time. <laughs> That's some good luck to you. It's just as well, really. You know, that rice that they cook sticks to the garbage disposal. It takes forever to get it out. Oh, would you listen to me? I haven't even introduced myself. Hi, I'm Sheila Pease. Hi, how are you? Aren't you adorable? I bet when you grow up, you want to manage a 7-Eleven just like your father. You'll get all the big gulps you want, won't you? Come on, son. We're going to look around some. Well, hello again there, doctor. Have you decided you'd like an application? No, lady. I would never rent an apartment from you. 
Well, my goodness, you do drive a hard bargain. Okay, then I'll put up a hoop in the backyard. <laughs> oh, and you can barbecue all you please. Lady, you are sick. I am. My goodness, I feel all right. Well, you're the doctor. Toodaloo. Excuse me. Have um, you had a good chance to look around? You know, this place really is perfect for you. There's plenty of room for all of your wives to belly dance. <laughs> Plus, you know, the bedroom window faces Mecca. You know, if you don't like the bare floors, you could put a magic carpet down. Les, whoa! Look, I've been looking for you everywhere, man. Where have you been? Don't sneak up on me like that. You gotta help me, man. Why? What's going on? What happened? I accidentally killed a guy. I got in a fight with him. I hit him one time, man. It was like I had the strength of two men. What do you want me to do? I need money. Okay, well, here's my paycheck. Um, three dollars? Okay, I've been holding out. Here's a quarter. I was gonna play video games at lunch. Hey, Les, if you wanna get back to work, I'm not paying you to hang out with Riff Raff. Customers are waiting. All right, all right, I only have one hand. <laughs> no, you're in there. Come out with your hands up. Oh my God, they found me. <laughs> they must have been following you. They knew I'd, I'd make contact with you sooner or later. Let's get in there. No, stop sniffering. You, you gotta get out of here. You, you gotta get out of here, Wes. You're right, see you around. Okay. Damn it, Les, are you gonna do any work today? What are you talking about? I just cleared off the entire counter for you. What do you want from me? Hey, is there another way out of here? Just the window. All right, little brother, I gotta go. Okay, man. Hey, can I get you something else? <laughs> get out of here, Les. They probably would have thought of that one. Come on, huh? We've got the place surrounded. You'll never take me alive, coppers! Yeah. He's got a hostage. Ooh. Yeah, I'll talk to him. You stupid, you. Back up. Let him throw. He's got a hostage. Shut up, you lump green punk. I'm just off. Oh, Ma, that'll like you anyway. Give me back my quarters. Take it. Take it, big man. Wes, don't do this to me, baby. Please don't do this. Shut up. Wes, shut up. All right, stay back. I'll do this, little punk. I'm not that much of a punk. Listen here. It's me they want, kid. Go on, get out of here, man. Run as fast as that little foot can take you. <laughs> but keep in touch, buddy. Why would I to keep in touch with a punk like you? Just go! Okay, buddy. You take it easy. I see you. Like it's almost time to be moving on. No, Pappy, don't leave me, Pappy. Yes, I'm on my way to that big cotton field in the sky. You can't leave me, Pappy. I'm too dumb to make it with. I can't. I'm just a dumb old slave. I don't know. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. You was there no slave, boy? No. We was runaways. I ran away from that plantation 123 years ago. Yes. Sir. And I done raised three generations of children here in this kid. Now you got to go. You the last of the ten bucks. I can't make it up there, Pappy. You got to. I can't. You got to. I can't. I put my foot in your ass. Okay, I try. All right, bro. Now you got to head up north. Yes, sir. And find the Underground Railroad. Yes, sir. Got to find Harry Tubman. Harry Tubman. Look like Cecil Tyson. I thought that was Jane Pittman. No, that's just the roll. I want you to do one other thing for me, boy. What is it, Pappy? What, Pappy? Take care of my good jacket. Oh, yes, sir. Baby! 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 He wants me to have this. Well, it looks like I'm on my own now. I got to find my freedom and get out of here before this body starts stinking. Before I be a slave, I'll be buried in the grave. Or I'll be the hardest working man in the cotton field. <laughs> you heading north? Uh, nah, man. I believe this is southeast. Well, how far behind you is, D? Who? 
The dogs. I don't hear the dogs. Man, what dogs, man? Is there something I can help you with? Because I'm on my way home, and man, I am whipped. Oh, Lord, how many lashes they give you? Uh, nah, man, I mean, I'm beat. But at least you still got your foot. Man, look, what is it that you want, man? I don't have any time for this. You must be one of them house niggas. Look, I'm just looking for my freedom. Freedom? Yes, sir. Well, where the hell you been, in the cave? Yes, sir, right back yonder. Oh, man, look, you must be from the South, man. Brothers up here don't act like that. No? Excuse me. Well, move it. You're blocking the way. I'm oh, sorry, sir. We just mosey out your way. <laughs> man, what the hell is the matter with you? I'm trying to jog, and you're blocking my way. Yeah, well, next time, you know, run around, jackass. What? <laughs> you crazy, man. You crazy. You be talking to the white man like that. You know, they want to be right even when they wrong. We are sorry, sir. We are sorry, sir. Don't mean to hurt you. Don't mean to hurt you. He must got one of them, that, that colored fever going around. Boys, now feel it to him. Accept my apologies, please, sir. Well, I'll accept yours. Thank you. But I don't like your friend's attitude. You better change your attitude. Man, why did you do that? What you talking about? Didn't your pappy teach you nothing about survival? You don't talk to the white man like that. Them people want to be right even when they're wrong. <laughs> you see what you did? You don't put the dogs on us. Them dogs are a lot sm smaller than Pappy said they were. It's 1991. What did you say? I said, stop eyeballing that white woman. Put your fancy clothes on. Man, you can have that if you so desire, brother. And this is 1991, man. All that handkerchief head stuff don't play up here. This is America. We are free. We can do what we want. There he is, officer. That's oh. the one. We done brought the slave catchers on us. Well, feet don't fear me now. Man, be cool. Be cool, man. We haven't done anything wrong. Officer, I'm glad you're here, see, because... All right, face down on the ground and put your yes, hands sir. behind yes, your back. Hey, yes. now, wait a minute. Wait I a minute. Get down on your knees and get your hands behind your back. I is down, sir. If I go any further, I'll be in China. <laughs> You have the right to remain silent. Man, this is outrageous. We ain't mean no harm, Mrs. Lee, Master, sir. You better shut up. Yes, sir. Please don't beat me. Don't beat me. I, I tried to warn him, but he wouldn't listen. Hush up. I'm not talking to you. You're free to go. I was free? Yeah, keep moving. Wait a minute, man. I think he's in the singing group or something, man. Yes, sir. I keep moving. That's a good idea. Freedom don't seem to last too long around here. <laughs> of late night is hanging it up so make way for the new contender to the throne welcome to late night with my starring mike tyson along with the world's most buck to the terrific man the spinks brothers now he is a man who's always given 100 percent no matter what he's done let's give a big hamburgeristic applaud for iron Mike. Tonight I'm ecstatic. Oh, what's going on in the news? You hear about the boxer running around molesting all the beauty contestants? Who does he think he is? A Supreme Court judge? <laughs> oh, boy. So what about that boxer who's up for the fraternity suit? And the kid looks nothing like him. He's short, ugly, lines in his hair, gold teeth. Hey, who writing this stuff? 
It's so funny. Look, uh, hey, I got to introduce my posse before I hurt somebody. You know these people out there? These are the people who had to stand by idly while I tongue kiss their girlfriends and mothers. <laughs> not jokes. These are just things that make you say, Robin, you bitch. <laughs> oh, we got a great show. We got a great show. A lot of fun guests tonight. So let's get started. Sphinx Brothers, take us home, Michael, with some of that. I got hit once and laid down and collected check funk like a coward you are. <laughs> Also get to enjoy Michael's own special comedy bits. Please welcome the fabulistic Correct the Magnificent. <laughs> Correct, I hold in my hand an envelope that has been panasonically sealed in a mayonnaise jar on Jerry Cooney's porch since noon today. But you, in your uncongrivable way, will ascertain the answer to the questions without even seeing it. That is correct, Larry Holmes, Jack Strap Fifth. <laughs> fee fi fee fi fee fi fo. Fee fi fee fi fee fi fo. <laughs> what is my telephone number? <laughs> Late Night with Mike is also informative. Well, let's get to the top five, shall we? All right. Now, these are the top five questions that people ask me the most. Number five, would you please step out the car, sir? <laughs> Number four, want to take your hands off my ass? <laughs> Number three, want to defend it, please, boys? <laughs> Number two, you want to take your hands off my ass? <laughs> and the number one question that people always ask you the most is... Did you do the voice with Tweety Bite? <laughs> Plus, you'll get to hear some great conversation with guest stars like Sinbad. Don't ever tell a woman she got a big butt, man. My wife got a big butt, man. And she asked me, Sinbad, my butt big? I said, no, baby, your butt ain't big. But big as New Jersey, man. You can show the 70 millimeter version of the crow on the booty, man. And when women got big booty, they eat less. But the booty's still big. They eat less. I mean, where are your jokes at? I, I like women with big butt. What's wrong with a big butt? You, you're not making any sense. You know, you're making me sick. Just get off my show. Oh. Get out of here. Oh. Nice You'll also see another side of Mike when he's joined by Joan Embry from the San Diego Zoo. This is the rare South American talking cockatoo, the last of its breed. Oh. Are you doing, cute little birdie? Polly ah, want a cracker. Ah, Polly want a cracker. Polly, well, what? He, he always wants something. He always wants something. We haven't even slept together yet. You want something. I don't even have a nice butt. Get off my show. Late Night with Mike. Brought to you by Brozac, the sedative of champions.